hello guys welcome to today's tutorial so today i'm going to be showing you something different uh we're going to be looking at how we can deploy a node.js application on cpanel this is not just any node application it's a node backend so if you have a project maybe a side project or a startup you can actually deploy your backend on cpanel rather than going off you know and starting off with all this expensive hosting using either aws or something that uh is kind of expensive so you can start with a very cost effective c panel and host your app and believe me you can host any type of backend uh that is written in node.js with c panel and i'm going to be showing you how you can today so today we have here a uh, application is a full stack application but i'm going to be hosting the backend i'm just going to be hosting the backend for demonstration today because today we are just focusing on the backend so i have a backend here for a image conversion website you know you can see here in the directory you can see i have the client here inside this is a next.js application so i'm not going to be uh deploying this just the back end uh but elsewhere you can see this is our app here inside the source app this is the um the start file and you can see our uh package.json yeah so we're gonna be using this i'm just gonna delete this we're gonna be using this and setting it top on the c panel so first thing first we need to uh compress this into a zip file that will be uploading to our to our server so i'm gonna remove the client folder remove all these uh unnecessary including the package the node modules folder i'm gonna remove all the log files also it's not necessary but i just prefer removing it so i'm gonna leave the remaining and then i'm gonna uh, but before then i want to show you something i have this loader here loader.cjs file you can see it here and the reason is because i'm using import modules i'm not using common js so common js works well with cpanel cpanet hosting but when you're using modules it doesn't really work well so uh most times you need to import it this way so you create a loader.cjs file in the root of your application and then you use an async function to import the start um the main uh, start script which here is our index.js which is this inside our source can see this is the start script here and you can see here i'm using import modules i'm not using uh common js i'm using import modules here i just prefer uh import modules you know uh the reason being that you know when you're programming you should follow best practice common js is old it's a whole uh method of a lot of people still use it but i've moved on personally to import modules so most of my applications now written in node express i import modules i don't use common js except if i absolutely have to they have uh there are few um packages that doesn't work with import modules but most packages now works especially if you are using uh, node version 20 upwards which is what i'm using here so if you if you look into the package.json you see the start script here 
I'm starting the source slash index JS. So that's basically it. Um, so let's go on. We're gonna zip this up. So I'm just removing the unnecessary uh, files. And um, I'm going to compress into a zip file. So I'm just going to leave it there. And then the next thing is to go to our, um, to our backend. So I'm using a uh, name chip. You can see this is the C panel for name chip. And the next thing we'll do is go to you need to have your domain so i'm guessing you already have your domain if you don't have a domain you can use a subdomain so depending on the hosting type that you have uh for me i'm using a subdomain but it's the same process with uh, a domain so i'm gonna click on this i'm gonna create the app first so i'm gonna um so i'm basically going to create a new app these are the list of the app I've, i have running i'm going to create a new app and i'm going to be hosting it on this subdomain so i'm going to remove this https because this is application root not the uh, web address is just the application route so i'm gonna leave it as image uh this if your application route is different you can update it and i'm going to change this to the application routes so and then the starter part is going to be the loader dot cjs and I'm gonna uh, change the version to 20 plus. Click on create. So we have it created. Then the next thing is we're gonna upload the zipped file. Click on upload and uh, just drag. I'm gonna drag it and drop it there. So you're going to see once it turns green, then uh, uh, the upload is completed. So I'm going to click go back. And then we're just going to, I'm going to delete all these except for the HT assets. So basically, uh, I'm just going to delete this. I'm not going to delete this. This HT access is very important. You don't need to delete it. Just delete all that. Yes. And then we're going to extract this. Extract it in the same folder. So you see, we've extracted it. Close it. So that's all you need to do. And then you go back uh to your application your node application that we created yes yeah, so i'm just going to restart it so it's going to pick up the npm the package json no it's not detecting a package json yet so but by the time you refresh it change this to 22 refresh I'm gonna save this okay so you can see now we have the npm uh it detected the configuration in the package JSON so the next thing I'm going to click on run npm install so let's hope it's uh, installed successfully. So, but if it doesn't install successfully, it will show the error and you can fix whatever error you have in your application. 
or uh, better still i'll show you a log where you can see the logs let's just assume this fails uh but it's working well you can go to the file manager at the root and then this stdr log you can you click on view you see all the you can see you can see we are having an error is saying uh cannot find log i don't think this applies let me i'm gonna uh edit this and update it clear the logs there and then i'm gonna refresh the app just to make sure so i'm gonna do uh delete and save uh, and then i'm gonna go back here and restart the app restart good now i'm just going to edit this again so you can see there's no log there we don't have an error anymore there so i'm just going to close this since we have no errors there so our app seems to be ready so we can test that i'll click on open so it will open the domain i'm getting a service unavailable but there are so many reasons that can happen let's go back and check the reason uh in the log I'm not okay. You can see log to file is imported, but it wasn't used. Cannot find, cannot find the package. So I'm just going to uh, install this or check where it is used. Let me check the check where it is imported, but never you where it, it was imported. And it wasn't installed. You can see we have log to file here. But it seems it wasn't used. Try to see if it was used. It wasn't used, so we don't need it. So I'm just going to remove it. And uh also this create log file uh, was he ever used? It was okay. So I'm going to leave that since they see you. So I'm just going to copy this whole uh, file and go and replace replace it in the So I'm showing you now you can see how you can debug uh issues issues with um C panel when you have C panel you see where you can check the logs so you can see so let's just it's the same thing we're just going to remove this log to file line and save so okay so we have it saved then i'm going to clear this log again to make sure so after doing that we need to restart the application so we're gonna click on the restart i'm just going to do that like two times uh then let's see okay so our app loaded you can see this is the front end but i said it was a back end it's actually a back end but you know express using express so initially the public folder was exposed so you can see here in the index file here 
public folder is being exposed there and then the api api slash v1 you can see it so i'm trying to i'm going to try to assess it um i should be blocked by the course course policy you can see it's not found yeah uh else check let me see the did i implement a health check let's see yeah we have a health check here route so let's just paste that and see if we get a okay so i'm getting a okay so apparently the course is not working let me see i think there's a problem in the implementation here i mean uh, okay so um uh I'm eating all these endpoints. Yeah. Oh, I think uh, the reason is because we are in dev environment. So once I change to production, yeah, it's going to, you know, it's going to kick in course is going to kick in so basically that's how you host your backend you can see the backend is working it's working perfectly and um, you can create your emv either by adding it here or you add it um in the dot emv file create a dot emv file like I did here and added it. So basically that is that about that. Also you can come here, click on add variable to add your EMVs. So uh, that brings us to the end. The app is working, we are all fine. So this is how you can host your Node.js on a C panel. So see you some other time. I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful for you. If it was helpful, drop a comment. And if you have any question, maybe uh, you have any issues, you can drop a comment. I will definitely respond to it.